So this was taken um, just under eight weeks, um, and this shows, uh, uh, as far as we know, a happy, healthy baby. When Laura Percival discovered she was pregnant last year with her second child, she was delighted. I've been trying for a year. Um, and it was what we really wanted and a baby of course is just going to bring so much happiness that you and we were, obviously we already have a son so it was kind of to complete the family. But three months into her pregnancy she miscarried and underwent surgery at Croydon University Hospital. A baby's in my body and there's no heartbeat I haven't you almost feel like it's your fault because you haven't managed to kind of keep that baby healthy and happy and full term. When she later inquired about the baby's remains, she was told they'd been sent away for testing at another hospital. They didn't tell me and I didn't give permission for that, so why is that, that's not okay? Like, I know it's kind of up until a certain mark that it's considered a baby, but it's still my baby and my loss. Andrew Shannon is Professor of Obstetrics at Guy St Thomas's Hospital. He works with the baby charity Tommy's and believes mothers need to be well informed. If you have a situation where you have lost a baby, it would normally be good practice to um, inform the woman, um, you know, sensitively and uh, so on, in an appropriate way about what her wishes are. Um, you would find out what she would want um, and you would give her options. Well, the hospital declined our interview request but said in a statement they have apologised to Laura Percival for any distress she may have experienced. They also added that sending tissue away for testing was common practice in the NHS and under 14 weeks it did not require patient consent. I quite like to purchase a tree um, at the crematorium um, so ultimately I have somewhere to kind of mark what's happened and kind of have a little bit of closure. Laura says she and her partner will try again for another baby, but for now she hopes other women who suffer a similar loss will get more support. Aisha Baksh, BBC London News. That's the one, thank you.